so originally it was just going to be uh, yesterday's video, the MGM promo. No real reason why I picked that room and not another room. But when I decided I wasn't going to go nuts and I was probably only going to play about uh, 30 hours, 30 hours is what it takes to qualify for two Bally's player appreciation tournaments. So I decided to count for uh, my recent two player appreciation tournament stretches and valleys, which is also about 30 hours. Uh, a little different though. The hours are the same. I could control that, but way different how the promotions work. Only uh, two promos in valleys. There were a lot going on in MGM, only two in valleys. There's the twice weekly player appreciation tournament. Play 15 hours between Sunday, Wednesday, and then another one between Wednesday, Sunday, and you get into a tournament where the maximum prize is 200, the only prize. You either don't cash or you get 200, but there's a $10 registration fee. So your two options are don't cash and you're minus $10, or do cash and it's 190 minus uh, whatever tip you leave, if any. So I've been tipping five. So for me, the option or minus 10 if I don't cash or plus 185 profit if I do cash pay the registration fee and tip and there are high hands every 15 minutes for most of the day from 10 a.m. to 3 a.m. every 15 minutes uh, way different than the MGM high hand it's only need to use one card in your hand uh, you could use both but only need to use one and it's only a 15 minute period and twos full of threes you know the smallest full house possible it goes on the board you have to beat what's on the board and holds for the 15 minutes you get a hundred dollars uh, my standard is to tip 10 on that so uh, for me that would be a profit of uh, 90 dollars if i hit one so let me show you the charts and show you all the money that i paid into it and then i'll come back here into paris in the hallway and explain the rest all right, got a nice picture here of a double board bomb pot. We played at a MGM one day recently, but let's get the uh, chart going. Going to need some headings, same headings as yesterday. Uh, how many days I played, the hours played, the hands won, the quantity, and the money paid into the promo fund, how many dollars. So, five days at uh, Bally's, you might call it Horseshoe. How many hours did I play each day? There is that column. How many hands did I win each day? There you go. And if you notice at the top, days one and two, there are halves. Uh, first day, one and a half hands won. One of them was a split pot. Me and another player had the exact same hand. So I said I won half the hand, and I paid a dollar of the two into the promo fund. Day two is a little more interesting, four and a half. There was a three-way all-in. There was a main pot. There was a side pot. I won the side pot. I lost the main. So the rake and the promo money came out of the main pot, which I did not win. So I said I won half the hand for this column, and I did not pay anything into the promo fund for the next column because uh, seat six, who won the main pot, paid everything. And there is this column. Money paid into the promo fund each day. There you go. As small as zero, as high as 26. Now let's sum some of these columns columns two and four and how many hours did i play 29.77 hours very close to yesterday's mgm which was 29.11 hours good amount of hours for a, a nice comparison and how much money did i pay into the fund 61 dollars over these uh 29.77 hours i paid directly into the promo fund so there you see what i paid i paid 61 dollars into it and how much did I get out? I cashed in uh, both of these PATs. So for me, 185 profit each, 185 times two, 370, subtract the $61 I paid into the fund, and I was ahead in terms of paying into the fund and receiving from the promo fund, I was ahead $309 over these 30 hours of play at Bally's. So there is the information. Yesterday, I gave you the MGM information. Today, the Bally slash Horseshoe information. And uh, tomorrow will be more of a robust comparison because it's a very similar amount of hours, similar stakes, both had promos going, uh, I even won a similar amount of hands, I paid a similar amount of money into the fund, but very different how the promos work in both rooms, so tomorrow, side by side comparison. And to end the video, I just wanted to say, I was uh, just picking up an order of uh, pralines, this will focus, there you go, pralines from uh, Trooper, sparkly sweets, and I don't even like sweets, I don't like pecans. And these things are incredible. My parents are coming into town in a few days, and I know they would like to try these things. I didn't know until like an hour ago. Pralines don't last forever. They're at their best in like the first three days. So I'm eating these and much closer to when my parents get here. I'll get more. These are very good. You like sweets. You're like an aficionado of uh, sweets and candies. 
you should try these if you're in town. Go to Trooper Sunday, go to uh, the farmer's markets, go to his Sparkly Sweets channel. Uh, you would love these things. Very, very good.